I've had a stock phone past couple of days. Cause I had to take my phone to the Sprint store, and uh, it turns out it wasn't my port. It was actually my USB cable. So I ordered a new one, and uh, that should be coming. Oh, I forgot about that. It should be coming pretty soon. But, uh, it's it's stock. Absolutely nothing about it. Uh, today I'll be flashing. Today I'll be flashing this. Uh, Stock ROM with custom recovery. After reviewing the video, I realized that the file was 101 megabytes when it should have been 142, and that's probably why it kept failing over and over again. Right now, I have a stock ROM on it without custom recovery, so this to me is the best file to use if you're going to root your phone. I have this binary folder right here. Instead of going to C, Program Files, Samsung Electronics, Software Upgrade, Models, Binary, I can just, you know, open up Computer. Click on binary and bam, I'm there. And there's the stock ROM. I'm gonna delete it now and transfer this to it. Make sure, make sure there's nothing in this folder before you do this. And when you copy it, there should only be one file in there. All right. So now the tar is in there. You can close this and run software upgrade. I accept. Next. Go ahead and put my phone in bootloader. I had another video like this, and I showed you that you don't have to actually unplug your phone and put it in bootloader twice. You just do it one time if you've already done this, and I've already done this. So camera, volume down, power. Alright. And actually, just to show you, I'm going to go ahead and hook my USB cable up right now before it even tells me to. I ain't leaving bootloader. I'm not leaving it. Click software download. And once this gets out of there, it's going. It's good now. That's a first. I don't know how good or bad that is. Okay. That's probably not good. Alright, well, I have this on camera, so I'll see how this goes. I oh, apologize guys, I gotta reboot my computer I guess. I'll be back shortly. Alright. <clears throat> it's been a few minutes, I restarted my computer. I turn my phone on, this is what I see. Ta-da! I guess it's just like a soft break or something. I don't know, I've never actually breaked a phone. So, put it in bootloader. I do everything prematurely now. Once you do this like a hundred times, you realize what steps you can skip and which steps you actually have to do. Um, I'm going to do it right now before I even run the program. Run the program.
It's gonna do it again. 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 Yep. Okay. I'm thinking that there's something like haywire about this tar because I downloaded it and like it like paused and then resumed and it paused and it resumed. So let me see. Computer binary. Delete this file. I have another one, right? Transform ski recovery. Copy control C. Paste control V. Bootloader. Oh, it's okay. I need to unplug it. Bootloader. Plug it in. And forget about it. I'm almost wanting to bet that it was that tar I downloaded because it kept resuming and resuming and resuming and resuming. Yay, it was that tar. Awesome. Okay, so it, it was just the tar. Wow, my phone's building up. You should check out this dude right here. I just uh, befriended him, or he befriended me on YouTube, and he's pretty awesome. I'll have a link to his channel, Fossey Carter. Mount the SD card. Oh, come on, let me mount it. I'm going to show y'all something. It makes you install an ID. Check this out. Here's another trick. Go into recovery since we now have a stock ROM with custom recovery. Bam. Yeah, this is for the moment, but when we apply ext4, it'll contain the new kernel and the new recovery. So, mount options. Enable USB mass storage. Bam, it's enabled. Plug in this. And, uh, you know, it pops up right here. Open it. You need to create a folder called SDX. And then create a, three folders one called Backup, one called Updates, and one called Zip. And I apologize, I do not have the latest from downloaded right now, so I'm going to do that right now. done so now I'm going to transfer that to the SD card all that while I was in recovery disable mass storage back go to advanced options Wipe phone, hit home, 
apply update. Okay, so this one right here, hit menu, hit home. All right. See, when I first started up, it was messing up. Like the same, like you saw the loading bar, and I rebooted because I thought it was messing up. But apparently, it does that. So now I got Launcher Pro, but I am quickly going to ADW Launcher. Quickly, got Super User, the new YouTube app, and. Shipped R 2.5, uh, 2.3, point blank ROM. Um, I'm going to apply EXT4, and it it takes this build number, and it makes it Vampire Foes. He, he just started creating kernels um, on his own with help from Vampire Foe. So, nothing against him. But anyway, so now I have Shipped R 182's ROM on here, and... From here, I'm going to apply the no full battery pop-up, which I'll do right now since this video is already way long. We're looking at 17 minutes and 30 seconds. This is why I like Quick Boot. It gets rid of that stupid little shutting down. It's like hitting the power button on your computer and just forcing it to shut off. They want you to do this every time. White clear Dalvik cache. Every time you apply an update.zip, it's just one of those precautions so nothing goes wrong. And I'm going to apply this uh, no full battery pop up because whenever your battery is fully charged, you get this little thing that pops up and says battery is fully charged. Please unplug charger. And it's so annoying and it quits charging your phone. So here I'm going to apply it. Now it's quick and easy. Reboot to system. I can tell you right now, I, I really think I'm just going to go with the stock ROM with custom recovery and apply EXT4. Alright, we're approaching 21 minutes now. This is crazy. Alright, um, I'm going to have another video soon on EXT4. And uh, I'm going to apply that over this and see if it helps the, the load time for the bootloader. So that's just ridiculous. First apps I would say to install with re root, titanium backup so you can get all your apps back. Um, quick boot is a necessity because you can hold here shortcuts and put quick boot and uh, you push it and then your phone instantly restarts or you can set one to recovery and push it and you're in recovery instantly and recovery works while you're hooked up to USB. So that's another big thing, because if you're not hooked, if you don't have Quick Boot and you try to get in a recovery or bootloader, you cannot be hooked up to USB. After 23 minutes, this video is officially over. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe if this helped you out.